Hi, it's Katrina. From microbes that create fuel to cloning your own pet, here are eight animals created by scientists. Number 8. Enviropigs Pigs are an important part of human culture, mainly in terms of food. However, inside them they have a potentially very dangerous byproduct, phosphorus. They have it in their bodies and they emit it into the general environment with their bowel movements. If you calculate all the pigs that are on the planet, that leads to a lot of phosphorus being put into the atmosphere, which is not a good thing. Therefore, scientists have experimented on pigs to try and limit the amount of phosphorus they emit via their waste. And so, Enviropigs were born. They are a genetically modified line of Yorkshire pigs that have been approved for limited production in controlled research settings in Canada and the US. Of course, there are many ethical concerns related to these animals, and testing is still being done to see if they are safe for human consumption. You have to decide for yourselves, but it's good to know what's going on. Clever name aside, their experiments were both simple yet effective. They were able to make it so that these pigs would absorb the phosphorus that was being produced in their bodies, drastically limiting the amount that was put into the air. While phosphorus is a necessary part of the natural life cycle, having too much of it can cause overgrowth in plants. While this may sound like a good thing, this imbalance can cause a lot of problems, especially in the oceans, lakes, and rivers with algae. As of right now, the state of Florida has declared a state of emergency because of the large spread of red tides, which is toxic algae that kills everything in its path. With these Enviropigs, the balance will likely be maintained if done on a large scale. Furthermore, if they're able to do this with not only other pigs, but livestock like cattle and reduce the amount of gases that they produce, it could lead to a big revolution in cleaning up the world's atmosphere. Number 7. Landmine Plants While not an animal, this is a creature. This plant was created for a specific purpose, and it's arguably one of the most creative and important creations ever done by science. Why? Well, because these plants were made by a company to change their color when a landmine is near. You might be thinking, why is that a necessary thing? In the world today, there are approximately 110 million landmines in the ground right now. Many of them are in the Eastern Hemisphere in countries such as North and South Korea via the demilitarized zone. However, many of the landmines in the ground are still left over from wars that are officially over, but the damage can still be done. While landmines are an effective and dangerous tool in war, they're also pretty hard to get out of the ground, so everyone just leaves them there. Even now, years later, innocent people and children from everywhere from Colombia to Cambodia are paying the price. So, a company named Arisa Biodetection created a plant that would turn red in the presence of the chemical nitrogen dioxide, which is a key ingredient in making landmines. While this may sound like mad science, it actually works. And if planted in areas believed to have mines, it could help save lives. Now that is pretty amazing. And now for number six. But first, be sure to subscribe if you're new here and click on the bell to join the notification squad. And for you returning subs, nice to see you again. Number six, fuel microbes. The energy crisis is one of the most important things being talked about in our world today. So it should not come as a surprise that scientists have tried to create things that can help solve the world's fuel problem. What you may be surprised to learn, though, is that they're closer to this than you might think. And the source of this potential new way of getting fuel is with microbes. How does that work? Well, certain microbes in the world excrete chemicals that can become fuel. But one scientist in Silicon Valley decided to take this to a whole new level. He was able to make a group of microbes that were bred to eat the waste of agricultural byproducts and then excrete diesel. It gets better though. Because of how they were genetically modified, the diesel that these microbes give out is pure. It can be used right now if put out in the right amounts. After all, they are microbes and they can only produce a tiny quantity of diesel at a time. However, should this catch on and be used as a viable fuel source, this could revolutionize the energy market. Everyone could grow their own. The earth would no longer be destroyed by wells or fracking, and the oil would not need to be cleaned and processed. Number 5. Glowfish The concept of a glowing fish is not new. 
In fact, many creatures are able to do this naturally via bioluminescence. And although it is a mystery in nature as to why creatures need it, it is a naturally occurring phenomenon. However, people wanted to take this idea further and be able to have fish that glow on demand available for every aquarium. And so scientists created glowfish. Glowfish are actually a species of fish known as zebrafish, but they were later turned into the glowfish via experiments with the fluorescent protein that was taken from a jellyfish of all things. By inserting this protein into the embryo of the zebrafish, which then went into the genome of the fish and manifested, they were able to create a fish that changed colors. While that would be an impressive scientific achievement all on its own, the intent of the glowfish was to make it so that it would change colors based on the toxins that were in the water around it. However, what they actually do is capture light and re-emit it, which makes them look like they're glowing. This is very harmful to the fish and they usually don't live very long. However, they are sold as pets and are in fact the only genetically modified species of animal on Earth that can be sold as a pet. So far. You may have even had them at some point in your life because many people did not know that this was harmful, or they wondered how the fish was even able to glow. Glowfish can be seen in many different colors, including red, orange, green, blue, purple, and more. Number 4. Sudden Death Mosquitoes Who likes mosquitoes? A British company named Oxitec came up with an idea to make a mosquito that would infect others to make them sterile to effectively get rid of them all. Forget alligators and snakes, mosquitoes are the animal that kills the most people in the world. It's not that they are fatal on their own, but they are one of the best carriers for diseases, and they'll infect people when they bite them with everything from malaria to dengue. The Center for Disease Control has stated that mosquitoes infect 100 million people and 5 million people die every year. This was the birth of the sudden death mosquito. These mosquitoes are genetically programmed to die, but are given a vaccine to keep them alive in the lab. Once they are released into the wild, they have enough time to reproduce and then die. Their offspring are then sterile, and then they all start dying off. As interesting as it would sound having a world without mosquitoes and a lesser chance of catching a deadly disease, these mosquitoes are a bit of a double-edged sword. Yes, they would help the human population. But if this got out of hand and the entire mosquito population was wiped out, it would cause irrevocable harm to the ecosystems of the world, and we might never know the extent of the damage until it's too late. On the other hand, it could be a good way to get rid of an invasive species. In any case, these experiments are already happening, so it doesn't really matter what we think. The sterile insect technique has already been used to eliminate the screw worm and the Mediterranean fruit fly from North America. Many people are against releasing these genetically altered creatures into the wild because who is going to take responsibility if something goes wrong? Number 3. The Spider Silk Goat The spider silk goat is just what it sounds like, a fusion of goat and spider DNA. Now, unlike movies that would make a creature built for horror films, on both the outside and inside this goat looks the same. It doesn't have tons of eyes or more than four legs, but it has been altered with spider DNA. Goats produce milk, and so scientists came up with an idea to put spider DNA into this goat so that its milk would also have spider silk in it. Great combo! That might seem really weird, but it is intentional. Spider silk is incredibly strong and could be useful if we could harvest it in large quantities, because getting silk from spiders is tedious work. Spider silk has powerful tensile strength, which is the resistance of a material to breaking under pressure. So, by having a lot of spider silk, people can make things like high-quality bandages, bulletproof armor, and all kinds of things able to resist an impact. It is also flexible, and scientists could use it for making artificial ligaments and tendons, for eye sutures, and for jaw repair. Being able to gather spider silk in large quantities opens up a whole new world for developing strong and powerful materials. Number 2. Super Salmon Not unlike the spider silk goats, super salmon, also known as the Aqua Advantage Salmon, were bred with a specific purpose. These salmon were not only bred to be huge, they were bred to get to the size in half the time that a natural salmon would do it. This of course speeds up the time that the fish would be ready to go to market to be sold all around the world. The way that this was made possible was by injecting the fish with a growth hormone. Illegal for humans playing sports, but not for fish going to market. Now, unlike the sudden death mosquitoes, these salmon are regulated and controlled by breeding them in areas that don't mingle with natural salmon. 
These have not been released into the wild because even if a few of these super salmon ever got into the waters, it could cause a devastating effect. The super salmon would probably completely destroy the regular ones, beating them at everything and cause massive harm to their population numbers. Might be good for bears and fishermen, but probably not worth the risk. Number 1. Dolly the Sheep In all science, there is a first, and when it comes to the topic of clones, there is one thing that everyone knows. You have to talk about Dolly the Sheep. Dolly is the first official cloned animal in the history of the world to have reached adulthood, which is an accomplishment that is still talked about to this day. Dolly was born from a single cell taken from a female sheep's mammary glands. This cell was then put into another female sheep where Dolly later became the result. The fact that this worked at all was mind-blowing as it completely bypassed the usual way an animal is conceived, with genetic material from both a male and female parent. Here though, it was done by nucleus transfer. While Ian Wilmot and his fellow scientists at the Roslyn Institute in Midlothian, Scotland were praised for what they had done, the birth of Dolly the sheep caused a lot of controversy as well. The concept of cloning life had been tested before, but was never this successful. And now that it had been done, a lot of questions had to be asked. But none of that concerned Dolly herself, who lived to be seven years old before dying of lung cancer in 2003. Furthermore, she gave birth to six lambs, proving that she was indeed a successful recreation of a life from top to bottom. Cloning has continued, and now you can also clone your beloved pet with ViaGen Pets. For $25,000, you can clone your cat. Your dog can cost anywhere from $50,000 to $100,000. There is no guarantee that it will work, and it's important to keep in mind that while you are cloning your pet, there are around 1.5 million shelter animals that are euthanized in the U.S. alone every year because nobody wants them. This is definitely something to think about. Would you ever clone your pet if you could? Barbara Streisand did. Thanks for watching. Can you believe how far science has come? Let me know what you think about these animals created by science in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!